Doctors explain the first sense people lose when just hours from death. Doctors have revealed the first sense people lose in the hours before their death. The science of death has remained shrouded in mystery, relying heavily on the accounts of friends and family to understand what happens. Until recently, people would slip through what is known as the active phase very quickly. But modern medicine has allowed patients to die gradually from lingering illnesses, which has also allowed doctors to study the process of dying. One thing they have learned is that people tend to lose their senses and desires in a specific order. James Hollenbeck, a palliative care specialist at Stanford University in the U.S. writes in Palliative Care Perspectives, a guide for other palliative care physicians, told The Atlantic, first hunger and then thirst are lost. Speech is lost next, followed by vision. The last senses to go are usually hearing and touch. Scientists even think they have come to understand why people see the bright light. David Havda, the director of the UCLA Brain Injury Research Center said the brain sacrifices areas deemed less critical for survival while other senses are amplified, reported The Atlantic. He said, as the brain begins to change and start to die, different parts become excited, and one of the parts that becomes excited is the visual system, and so that's where people begin to see light. The sharpening of senses appears to support what was previously known about how the brains of animals respond before death. Jim Borjigan, a neuroscientist at the University of Michigan found a surge in the number of certain neurochemicals in the brain. It was well known before Borjigan's work that the brain fires lots of neurons before death but it wasn't known that the neurons secrete vast amounts of a new chemical leading to a seemingly hallucinogenic response. According to Borjigan, cardiac arrest survivors report having an amazing experience in their brain, where they see lights and everything is realer than real. My impression is that this is not a coma, a state of unconsciousness, as many families and clinicians think, but something like a dream state. However, it has been hard to pinpoint when this happens but he said it is, like a storm coming in. The waves started coming up. But you can never say, well, when did the waves start coming up? The waves get higher and higher, and eventually, they carry the person out to sea.